Welcome to the Listum tutorial video. In this video, we will show you how to create a WordPress directory website using the Listum plugin. Listum is free and available in the WordPress repository. You can download and install it on your website to enjoy its fascinating options and features. You can install Listum directly from the WordPress repository or manually by uploading the plugin. To install it from the repository, go to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to plugins, Hit the Add New Plugin button in the search bar, type Listum, and then click Install Now, and finally activate it. After activation, you'll see the Listum and Listings menus added to your WordPress dashboard. Listum is beneficial for any website that needs to list items in various styles. The free version offers several skins, including Half Map, List Plus Grid, Grid, List, Masonry, Table, Slider, Carousel, and Cover. The side by side skin is included in the Pro add on. We want to show you the free features and skins, how to create a listing, how to use taxonomies to group and manage listings, and finally, how to display them with different skins. First of all, Listum provides dummy data that helps you get started quickly with this plugin. To include this dummy data in your WordPress website, go to the Listum menu, select Home, and click on the Dummy Data tab. You can choose which type of data to import to your website, including listings, categories, locations, tags, features, labels, front-end dashboard, shortcodes, and pages. Listum offers five free taxonomies, categories, locations, tags, features, and labels, which are used to group and manage the listings. I will discuss them in more detail. If you want to import the data, select any that you want and hit the Import Dummy Data button. We assume that you have either imported them or want to start from scratch and insert your own data. First, create a new listing. To do that, just hit the Add New Listing button, start with the title, and in the description, select the locations, tags, features, labels, and category. Remember, the category is important and necessary to save and publish your listings. By default, a category called Uncategorized is added to your website when you install Listum, but you can modify, change, and add your own categories as needed. You can also set a featured image for your listing, which will be displayed prominently. Use the location section to determine where the listing is situated. Listing websites like business directories or store locators often need to show the exact location of a property, such as a store or any other type of listing. You can insert the address of the listing along with the latitude and longitude coordinates. If you insert the exact listing address, it will show the location on the map. To ensure the map appears as desired, remember to insert your Google API key. Most of the time you can obtain a Google API key for free by searching online for instructions. However, if you prefer a free mapping solution due to possible charges from Google, you can use the leaflet map available in the List Dumb Pro add-on. You can set the price options of the listing if the price is included. You can specify the currency, the price, the maximum price, and provide a description like per game, per term, per month, or per night. Additionally, there is a feature called Price Class that marks your listings with terms like cheap, normal, high, or ultra high. In the Work Hours section, you can set the working hours of the listing. For example, if you're creating a listing for a store or business, it may operate 24 hours from 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. or from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can indicate if it's closed on Sunday by checking that option. The contact details for the listings can also be included. You can set a custom link for your listing that redirects users from your website to any link you desire. For example, if you have a list of items and want to redirect users to the listing owner's website instead of showing the listing details, you can do that by inserting the desired link. This is useful for referral links or other purposes. You can also include the owner's message or remarks on the listing details page. Additional features include setting gallery images and providing an excerpt. Once you have entered all the necessary data, publish the listing to create an attractive display. A single listing should include most of these data, so make sure to insert all the required information. Now, let's discuss the Listum taxonomies. Under the Listings menu, you can find categories, locations, tags, features, and labels. You can create a new category by inserting the name and slug of the category, if you don't specify a slug, it will default to the same as the name. You will also provide a description, icon, color, image, and any other necessary data to create the new category for the listings. The same process applies to locations, tags, features, and labels. When adding a new listing, you can select from all of these taxonomies and even create a new tag feature or label directly along with the locations. When you add the taxonomies, they will be displayed on the listing card or single listing details page in various styles. 
For example, the labels assigned to the listing will be shown, as well as the category on the listing cards. By clicking on the listing, you can access more details such as the features and tags associated with the listing. All these elements are clickable, allowing you to view the archive of a specific tag and see all listings assigned to that tag. You can also display a list of taxonomies on your website. If you are using Elementor, Listum has an add-on called Listum Elementor add-on which includes several widgets to showcase Listum taxonomies in different styles. However, if you prefer not to use that add-on or are not utilizing Elementor, there are several short codes to display categories, locations, and tags in various styles. For instance, you can create a carousel for categories or showcase locations with images. The short codes can help you present taxonomies effectively. Please check the video description for links to the documentation where all of the Listum shortcodes are available for your use. So far, we have learned how to create a listing, use taxonomies, and assign them to listings. Finally, let's explore how to display the listings together as a list. For example, a grid skin can be used to display the listings, and there are several other skins available as well. Listum uses shortcodes in the shortcode builder to display listings. Let's return to the WordPress dashboard under the Listum menu, where you'll find a menu called Shortcodes. This is the most powerful part of Listum, enabling you to create an infinite variety of styles and archives for your listing and directory website. To get started, click the Add New Shortcode button. First, choose the skin for your shortcode. Options include Single Map, List View, Grid, Side by Side, List Plus Grid, Half Map, Table, Masonry, Carousel, Slider, and Cover. All these options except for the side-by-side -side one are included in the free version. The side-by-side -side feature is part of the Pro add-on which you can upgrade to if you want to access it. However, the other skins are robust and sufficient for most directory websites. For example, if you want to show listings in a half-map layout, also known as split view, you should select the half-map option. Next, select the style of the listing cards. Now let's explore the half-map skin demo. You can create these pages on your site and they can also be included with dummy data. The half map layout showcases a map on the right or left of the listings. It sticks to the top and bottom, depending on your theme, with all listings displayed alongside it. Clicking on any marker on the map reveals its details in what's called an info window, which can be edited and styled using the Elementor add-on. Back to the shortcode settings, you'll need to select the style of the listing cards. There are three styles available. Each listing card consists of several elements such as an image, labels, category, title, description, address, or other relevant data based on the style you've chosen. You can enable or disable any items you don't want to show on the listing card. For instance, if you prefer style 1 but don't want the labels displayed on the image, you can easily disable them. Additionally, select the map provider for your shortcode. In the free version, Google Maps is available, but if you want to use Leaflet, you can upgrade to the Pro add-on. There are also various settings for the maps that you can utilize. For example, you can select the map style or activate and deactivate clustering. Clustering means that in a specific location, if there are two listings near each other, when you zoom out on the map, these listings merge and are displayed as a circle with the number 2 on it. If you zoom in enough, the two listings will separate from each other. This function is called clustering. You can check all the other options in the documentation or tutorial videos. You can also select the default view. For instance, if I set the list view, the grid view will change to list view. To use this shortcode, I just need to copy it and insert it into any page on my website. After finishing the settings, you will find powerful filter options used to filter locations, categories, tags, features, labels, attributes, which are included in the Pro add-on, and authors. You can create a shortcode that only shows listings, for instance, in the location of Amsterdam that belong to the auto repairs category and have the hot offer label. You can create unlimited and infinite shortcodes and archives to showcase on your website. Okay, now I have to tell you that Listum has a powerful search and filter builder. We can see a search form on the home page. Now let's see how we change or manage it. When I go back to the WordPress dashboard, under the Listum menu, I see a section called search and filter builder. Here you can create a new search form by clicking on add new search form. You'll see the available fields that can be inserted into your form. You can drag and drop the fields, for example, select categories and drag it to the form area. You can change the title, the method, the placeholder, or the default value. The methods have several options, such as checkboxes, multiple selection, radio buttons, or other types. 
Additionally, any of the fields can have a specified width, helping you create beautiful customized forms. For instance, I want the text search to be longer than the category field, so I set its width accordingly. Next, I will add the locations field. And finally, I want this row to include the search buttons. If you want to create a new row, click the add row button and a new row will appear. You can add features in this new row as well. There's also an option for more options, which will create another row under itself. Any items added to this row will be displayed in the more options section. When you click on more options, you can see the new fields. When you finish selecting and designing your fields, you can publish the form. Let's name it new search form. After publishing, like other search forms, this one will have a short code you can copy and paste into any section or page. When you place a search form next to a skin shortcode, the form interacts with the skin and filters it. The result of the search form is normally displayed on the skin short codes of the same page. However, you can select to show the results on another page as well. To do that, return to the search form settings. In the menu, you can see that the results page is set to current page. This means any page with this shortcode inserted will show the result, but you need to put a skin shortcode on that page too. Additionally, Listem has a front-end dashboard, which is great news as it is included in its free version. Your site users can add their listings here. Users can register on your website and start publishing their listings. If your website does not have a custom login and registration system, Listem offers a user menu in the settings that helps you insert beautiful forms for login and registration. Several shortcodes exist in this section. You can use the list dumb auth shortcode on any page to display the login registration or password reset forms. Alternatively, you can use individual shortcodes for each form, such as only for login or only for registration. Okay, as you saw, you can design and create your own directory site for free with the Listem plugin. I wanted to share a quick tutorial on using Listem. I hope this video helps you.